Hello, my name is Claire Hoffmeyer and I'm a research associate with Mothers to Mothers or M2M, an African-based health NGO that recruits, employs and trains women living with HIV as mentor mothers. My presentation is a multi-country review on peer support for achieving elimination of mother to child transmission of HIV. The study has been co-authored with my colleagues Melissa Wallace, Marjorie Mbule, Nakulu Lombe Kwendeni and Catherine Schmitz. First I'll take you through a background, go through the methods, the results and end with a discussion. Globally in 2018, there were more than 1.3 million pregnant women living with HIV, all requiring interventions for prevention of mother to child transmission of HIV. Africa is home to 90% of these women, of which around 85% are receiving ART. While great strides have been made in reducing the mother to child transmission of HIV, progress towards elimination has slowed. In 2018, 83,000 infants were vertically infected in Eastern and Southern Africa. Around 20% of these new infections resulted from mothers dropping off ART during pregnancy or breastfeeding. For this reason, a focus on retention and adherence support remains critical in this region. Different forms of peer support have been found, have been found to be effective in improving awareness of PMTCT services during the antenatal and postnatal periods, timely testing of HIV exposed infants, supporting mothers to remain in care, and supporting mothers to adhere to their treatment. Working across 10 countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, Mothers to Mothers employs, trains and empowers HIV positive women as lay health workers. Our mentor mothers work in local communities and at understaffed health facilities to ensure that women and their families get the health advice and medication they need and to stay in care. As frontline health workers, they provide various services to bring pregnant women and new mothers into care and keep them in care during the PMTCT period. These include household mapping for early identification, referral and linkages to services, active client follow-up for missed priority appointments, support in accessing infant prophylaxis and testing, and guidance on safer feeding methods. In our study, we conducted a retrospective analysis of a 36-month cohort of women supported by the M2M program. A sample includes clients from 40 health facilities across Lesotho, South Africa and Uganda. All pregnant women who enrolled into the M2M program at these sites between the 1st of January and the 30th of June 2017 were included in our study. Data were collected for all interactions with a mentor mother from the time the client enrolled until the end of 2019. In total, the sample includes 1,309 mother-baby pairs of which 981 were from Lesotho, 199 were from South Africa, and 129 were from Uganda. We find the following uptake of services along the PMTCT cascade. 95% of infants received prophylaxis in the form of nevirapine at birth. 92% were given cochamoxazole from six weeks old. At 95%, the vast majority of infants received their first PCR test between the ages of 0 to 10 weeks old, depending on the country. There's a slight drop to 93% for those receiving their first test result. And then uptake of the final test at 18 to 24 months old was 76% and 74% received the final test result. In terms of outcomes, we find that among all women delivering, the transmission rate was 1.9%. If we restrict the sample to those infants where we know their status at 18 to 24 months, the transmission rate was 2.4%. The 95% confidence interval around both of these statistics falls below 5%, indicating that virtual elimination was achieved. Among infants who seroconverted, uptake of ART was high at 87%. MTM's final MTCT rate of 1.9% among the entire cohort, or 2.4% among infants tested, compares favorably with UNAIDS and World Health Organization MTCT benchmarks. UNAIDS benchmarks vary by country, and in 2019 were set at 9% for Lesotho, 3% for South Africa, and 6% for Uganda. 
The World Health Organization has two targets based on the feeding method used, where virtual elimination is achieved at an MTCT rate of less than 2% in non-breastfeeding populations and less than 5% in breastfeeding populations. Peer support can contribute significantly to outcomes along the PMTCT cascade and can play a vital role in reaching global UN targets for elimination of MTCT. Providing this kind of support is particularly important in the context in which M2M works, where a number of health facilities have erratic supplies of lab laboratory reagents and ARVs and access to infant HIV tests continues to be a challenge. Outcomes from M2M's PMTCT program demonstrate the value of peer models and show that virtual elimination of mother-to-child transmission is possible even in the face of multiple health system challenges. Thank you very much.